because uh, in all fairness, the extra firepower could probably help you out, but these goons are just going to die horribly anyway. How's it going? Got a headache yet? All right. Oh, I thought that stuck him then. Hello. Let's do it. You and me. Yeah. Ooh, I do like these deep magazines. We are running out of ammo though. Ah. We're in the docking bay. Now this can be quite the hard fight. I think that guy was deaf and stupid. So we can secure our exit here. Kind of. Oh, there's our one soldier. That's fine. He certainly deserves a medal. You are right there, dude? You good? You still hanging in there? Yeah, he's still hanging in there. He's fine. He's having a great time. Just like we are. Let's just thin these guys out. There's always a few more. Hopefully. I don't think that quite created the chain reaction that we were hoping for. Lots of sniper ammo. This is a good thing. We like our sniper ammo around here. Oh, an overshield. It's probably going to come in handy. Not sure why there are all these dead soldiers here either. I guess somebody's already tried to assault this place. The overshield is gone. That's fine. Ah, hey, Grunty. Oh, hello. I was wondering who you was firing at. Come on. I'm guessing that was ineffective. Looks like it. Right, who's left? Oh, right through the eye socket. Oh, hello. Yay. Hopefully. Hopefully, there's no big nasties hiding behind the doors. This dude is doing really well. Like, you are hero, Marine. That would have been sad if I just <laughs> perforated your brain. Well, that was terrible. No, don't kill my Marine. Uh-oh. Yeah, you can tell he's running out of health when he gets to that stage. Oof. See if... Don't charge the hunters, you fool! Yep, he's a fool. He's dead. Whoop. Just drill this gun into his back. Now, you can get the hunters to hurt each other. Um, which is always amusing when that happens. One down. Looks like they do take damage from other parts of their armor. They just take significantly more damage in the back. That's what she said. Come on. Oof. Unfortunate, son. Unfortunate. You get them next time. We definitely need to remember that Marine's name. Got it. 
Now, I actually believe that the skull we need is through there. I think. Uh, I'm going to go double check. So I know some of the skulls are a little bit difficult to get, but we might be able to go down there another way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk, walk, walk to you guys, too. I wonder. One second, guys. Okay, so managed to fight my way back into the hangar just to get the foreign skull. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of an ordeal. So where the two hunters actually spawned from is where that uh, skull was. I was just, I literally, I knew it as soon as I walked past. I was like, son of a bitch. I thought we could get in there from the other side, but of course we cannot. Once that door is shut, it is shut. But no matter, we've got it. And that has taken me <laughs> a considerable amount of time to replay. Actually, a lot longer than I thought. I thought I could just restart a checkpoint or something, but... That ship had sailed, son. Right, anyway. Now, apparently, uh, some of these skulls do get a little bit sneaky, a little bit more difficult to grab. But I'm sure with a little bit of uh, perseverance, we can get them. The battle net. No! I don't think we're doing a bad job of holding them off, are we? I mean, we're winning. Ammo is kind of questionable. It's fine. Yeah, so when this door pops open is a really good time to actually grab these because you can sneak past these hunters, which probably would be the best way to do it. Now, another thing about hunters is they're always in pairs. That's because they're a bonded pair. Hunters always come in sets. And usually, when you kill one, it enrages the other one. But that's too damn bad. Whew! Well, it may lock again. But that's fine. You're finished. Oh, hi. Hot potato. Oh, and we got the score on for some reason. I don't know why that's decided to activate. But, you know, hopefully I'll disable it for the next level. Oh, we have an invisible elite. Whoa, Jesus. Well, there go the two Marines. Yeah, um, when I say grenades can cause extreme chain reactions, yeah. I'm not actually sure how we survived that, to be honest. Grenades will stay an integral part of gameplay going forwards. Well, to be fair, those marines just die too quickly. I'd rather go in by myself oof, and save some lives if possible. But, you know, Cortona won't take that as an acceptable answer. So we're going to get some more expendables. Ooh, did we stick him? Yes! <laughs> Stuck him right on his little head. Right, let's call in some more dudes. Although, looks like we have an elite coming our way. 
Now, these red elites aren't the toughest elites that we're going to come in contact with. There are some spicier ones a little bit later on. Eh, there doesn't appear to be any health or anything around. This might be another level that I cut in half as well. All right. Yeah, anything realistically longer than 35 minutes and my internet doesn't like. <laughs> right, okay. As much as I would actually like to upload these uh, in entire level sets. Hello. Who was shouting at me? I heard that. Oh, well. What would we do without you, Echo 419? Certainly would have been a lot more painful, that's for sure. She really knows how to maneuver that bird. Let's kick some ass! Kick some ass. Come on, men. Let's ride. We've probably used more men on this escapade than we actually saved in the last mission. But who's counting? <laughs> I thought we just lost them all already. I saw that grenade go in and I was like, oh no. I think we're about to lose another one though. Um, guys... Where are you running to, sweetheart? Alright, let's try and break these guys up if we can. Bloody jackals and their shields. Come on. Oh, we got an elite around the corner too. We'll take the elite out with a sniper. Safest. We're really low on health here. Hey guys, caught them napping. Whew. Right. Guys, stop shooting the corpses. I know it's fun. Ooh, that was nice. That's one way to clear the lane. What have I told you about running in my hallway? Get some nades in. Thin the herd. Hey, we got a triple kill. Quad kill. Whoa, we got... Oh, dear. Well, looks like our men are dropping like flies. Not quite sure where that elite went. Hopefully he went somewhere good. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of men either. Um... Not great. You guys are kind of dropping at an unsustainable rate. Just saying. Right, okay. This looks like it might be the holding cells. Or at least we're getting close to the holding cells. Oh no, we're in the bridge. Right, well, there was the captain. Oh, evening. Get this rifle to do the heavy lifting. I think we've thinned them out. Oh, no. There's another elite. Must be the second in command. Okay. Just the chaff left. Oh. Can you handle him? Doesn't look like it. Sorry, don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. I got this. And of course, security team turning up. 
Now, let's go get our terminal. See. Yeah, you go hold the fort here. We'll go. <laughs> yeah, try not to die before we come back. Yeah, so Covenant ship design was a little bit smarter than humans. So the Covenant actually had their bridges of their ships built deep into the hull, whereas human ship design generally had the bridge exposed with windows. Uh, yeah, that was bad. Went about as well as you'd expect. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like um, Guilty Spark there was talking to a AI construct in the Covenant ship. Now, uh, the Covenant do use AIs for their ships, but they are not on the same level as the human AIs. Um, yeah, the... the the Covenant AIs are more like the lowest of the low human um, dumb AIs where as the human AIs, so they have two types as I've already explained and AIs like Cortana are actual intelligence. Right, anyway, I think we're about to be interrupted because it sounds like Gabby has come home from work. So one second guys. And we're back, okay cool, right. Finding Captain Keys and the rest of the command. Let's go. Whoop. Let's get some nades in there. Rock the house. Ooh. A little bit grenade resistant, this lot. Or at least so they thought. Let's melt these guys down. Ooh, evening. Well, gave him a headache. Not much more than that. Son of a... Now, actually, we've only got two rounds left. We'll hold on to those. Hopefully, we'll find some more. Because there's still another bit yet where I want to lean on that sniper rifle. Just a bit. Now, the cells should be here. Ah. Hmm. We must be in the drill. We take out holding cells. Yeah. Captain must be in one of them. We need to keep looking. 
We're finding them. We're finding them. Right, anyway, there are some dead soldiers in these. Not sure why the Covenant have taken prisoners. It's a bit of a very uncovenant thing to do. Usually, it would have been considered um, heresy to take humans alive. Unless they were using them for food or something, I suppose. Certain members of the Covenant do eat humans. Oof. Blew him into next week. He's had enough. Right, so. Ooh. Evening. Oh, we've got an invisible. Wow. Three kills. Happy with that. Right, here we go. We've at least upset him. <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Unfortunately, these cloaked elites are going to put up a little bit of a fight. Now, yeah, we really did kick the shit out of those guys, didn't we? Yeah, um, I'm not sure about this game. But uh, in the later games, cloaked elites actually have a lot less armor. All right, let's get the command out of the cells. Well, I mean, I mean, Halo isn't isn't really. I mean, I guess it sort of is a weapon, but there's a little bit more to it than that. Right, let's get to work. Yeah, the Covenant don't understand. Whoa, they don't understand what they have. And it is certainly bad news either way. So, oh! <laughs> the Covenant have already won without the captain. Oh, ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. Yeah, the captain is very good at getting himself killed. Which is somewhat problematic at times. Okay, let's keep pushing. Evening there, Squire. Nice ship you have here. Be a shame if somebody came aboard and took it from you. Right. Now, we're not going to be taking a ship today. But that doesn't mean 
something else when come in and take it. Alright. Oh, get off get out the way, guys. Are you really shooting each other? You're not doing each other any favours by shooting each other. I'll take two kills. Oh, unfortunate reload that. Nice little double kill. Use the grenades, guys. It's all about the grenades. Grenades are life. Okay. Alright, follow me, my band of brothers. Oh, I can hear. Covenant. Covenant? Covenant movement. Well, doesn't look like these guys held the fort down that well, does it? We have two swords floating around. That's bad news. So, yep, unfortunately, the bridge gets retaken by these Covenant bastards. Well, that's not the best news that we've had. Well, that'll do. That will do nicely. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> yes, get on with it. Now, if the captain could stop dying, that would be great. Uh, we've got to sort out these soldiers again. That's fine. Come here, Mr. Invisible Swords. Actually, we can kind of get them both in one burst. I don't know where they killed. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah, there's our friend. Right, let's try and look after the chief. The big cheese. Right, here we go. They're going to come from both angles. Okay, they're going to come from every angle. There we go. Yeah, one of the hardest parts about playing this game on legendary difficulty was just keeping the uh, keeping the chief alive, or keeping the captain alive, anyway. All right, let's make some pink mist. Now, the great thing about the needler is if you hit enemies with enough needles, they explode. And the homing ability on it ain't too bad. Not great, but it ain't too bad. Alright. Um. Thank you.
<laughs> Squish. A little bit wobbly there, Captain, but job done. And there we go. Luckily, it's not going to roll on to the next level because we're in some kind of weird score attack mode, but whatever. There we go. We've managed to retrieve the entire command team and get the hell out of here. So when we come back, we're going to the Silent Cartographer, which is one of my favorite missions. And to be fair, it's one of the most famous Halo missions in general. So it's a pretty good one. Pretty cool beach landing. And we're going to try and get to Halo's... Uh, control room first because uh, as we said there's something a little bit more interesting going on with the halo rings than it just being a simple weapon there's a lot more to it so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time